Hey there guys, it's Lee here. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the updated general ETH miner. Uh, the new updated version is 1.0.8 and it has a few cool features which I think are worth uh, sharing with you guys. So let's um, start up the actual miner and I will show you the uh, features. So I'll just show you my um, config. Um, so I'm just running it in OpenCL mode and it's Stratum uh, using Ethermine and obviously the just the address details there. So I'm just gonna start that now. Okay, just wait for that to fire up. So there's a few improvements. Um, there isn't any uh, performance increases. Um, most of it is um, how it's done in display and the uh, user interface. It's a, a cleaner and a more friendly user interface. So you can see uh, just there is the uh, current hash rate. Before you had it actually in um, a long form, so now it's sort of rounded um, down or rounded up, should I say. Um, and it shows you the current sort of hash rate in, in a nice, easy to understand uh, format. Before it showed you the raw number, so that was like um, 18 million, and it was a real um, difficult number to read. Um, the other thing that was changed as well, it's on a single line, whereas before sometimes it would clip and then you get your uh, mining information across two different lines. So it just made it a little bit more difficult to uh, read. The other thing that they've added to it as well, or Genoil has actually added to it, is this. You can see on the right hand side you've got A and then this R and F as well. And that tells you the amount of um, accepted shares and rejected shares. Um, so that's um, useful. Not every pool um, supports it, but um, yeah, that's an extra edit feature as well as. The other thing that it has is a, a work timer. So what happens is if the actual uh, miner gets stuck on a block for too long with a pool, um, you can use, set up a failover pool. So if it gets stuck, it will move to the failover pool after a certain uh, period uh, of time. One of the other features is the ability to send uh, stale shares. Um, I don't really see the point of that, but some pools might accept those um, stale shares and potentially increase your earnings. Um, personally, I don't think that's going to make very much difference um, to anyone. Um, but you know, if your pool um, gives you some kind of reward for that, then that might be useful to you. Okay, guys, so that's it for this video. This has been me sharing uh, Genoa's new Ethereum miner with you guys. Um, hopefully, you found it useful. Um, I'll put a link in the description for where you can actually download the uh, program itself. And um, yeah, let me know how you get along with it. Thanks for watching. Take care.